before the video starts, I want to tell you guys, do you guys want to see WWE action figure matches? Where pretty much what I'll do, uh, you guys leave me down below in the comments uh, if we do this. It's all on you guys. Do you guys want to see action figure matches? What will happen if you guys, if I see that there's a lot of yes, we want to see action figure matches. By the way, this is not going to affect any Danny, any Danny Toy Times, any anything. It's just going to be some other fun thing we're going to do on my channel. Um, so yeah, but do you guys want to see action figure matches? You guys are gonna leave it down below if you guys want to check it out or like if you guys want to want it and then If we do it you guys can choose what matches you guys want so you can go like oh I want John Cena versus Finn Balor and we'll do it. It's all up on you guys We you can choose all oh, for the United States champion whatever you guys want um Yeah, that's another cool thing we'll do and then also I want to shout out one of my best friends I made his channel for him. It, his username is Bionic Tiger. I want you guys to go check it out. We did the Bean Boozle Challenge. It was pretty bad, but I don't think... Uh, people say, like, oh, you guys didn't really do it, but, I mean, I think we did it, dude. I think I almost puked on it. If you guys want to go check out that video, go down below and go check it out in the link. Please go subscribe to him. He only has four subscribers. It will mean the world for you guys to go subscribe, and that will be a good gift from me to him. Um, cause he's done a lot. He's been in actually one of my videos before. Um, if you guys want to check out that video, it's really old, but I still have it on my channel. Go check out the link down below for that video with me and Bionic Tiger. Uh, so yeah, guys. All right, now enjoy Danny Toy Time. And uh, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? It is Vinlon Fakes here, and today we're here hitting your subscription box with another amazing video named Danny Toy Time, episode number eight. So yeah, guys. Um. I am so sorry for not uploading for about like what three weeks. That is that is bad, guys. But like I said in the intro, if you guys want WWE action figure matches, tell me down below, uh, yes or no. And if you guys want it, hit that like button. If you guys want to see more Danny Toy Times, again, hit that like button. That means the world to me. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for your amazing comments. You guys just brighten up my day a hundred percent every time. Um. Anyways, guys, this is gonna be probably the more shorter Danny toy time. I didn't get that many figures, I only got two, but the two are amazing. And so, anyways, before the video starts, if you guys have not been following me on Instagram, which you should, the, I got the Marvel Legends Black Panther. He is one of the more harder ones to find, and I bought him, and if you guys follow me on Instagram, you would see that his arm came off, and I know in Marvel Legends, they're supposed to, but this one just peeled right off, and what I did, we just went to return it. Me and Bionic Tiger went together to Toys R Us, and we found two. And me and Bionic Tiger both bought a new Black Panther. Well, he didn't have one, but I did. But I returned mine, and then I bought a new one, and then he bought one too. And now we have a perfect Black Panther. I'm going to be careful with the hand. Anyways, we're talking about WWE because that is what I love. Anyways, let's get started with the first figure, guys. I went to GameStop. I was going to record, but I don't know. It, it was pretty dang awkward there. But my friend, again, Bionic Tiger, he came over to my house and he told me that at GameStop, they have Samoa Joe. And obviously, right the next day, I told my mom, I was like, Mom, please save me to GameStop. I need to get this Samoa Joe. And boom, we got Samoa Joe, guys. This is one of my favorite figures. I'm going to tell you a little problem with it, but... That's just on mine. It's just on mine, of course, it has a problem. Um, so, yeah. But I'm going to get started with the figure. So, first off, we got this new towel. And no, this is not the one. I don't know if this is the one they reuse on Alberto Del Rio. Because I don't have any Alberto Del Rio figures. So, I don't know, guys. But really nice sculpting. I love this texture. You can definitely hear the sound. Amazing. I love the fold right there. Such an amazing um, little accessory. comes. I usually do that with it. Then we have the shirt. Now, on some people's figures, the shirt, when it goes on, it leaves black marks. That's why I'm not even going to use that. Right when I got it, I've been seeing people's videos. I just threw it right into my accessories bin because I don't need this at all. I might just use it for a fan, like for a figure I don't use. I might just use it for a fan. But anyways, if you guys want to see what it says, it says Samoa Joe has a dollar sign social. Then over here, it says submission specialist. Amazing. Just regular black, black shirt. But I guess it leaves some black marks. That's why I'm not going to take the risk on putting it. Anyways, let's get on with the first time the line Samoa Joe. Uh, there is a basic coming out. Exact same thing. But I heard that one is apparently 
different, but I don't know. I'd rather prefer the Elite because you can do much more with it. So here's a Samoa Joe face. I guess for a first time in the line, Samoa Joe, I wouldn't say it's the best, but I wouldn't say it's the worst. I guess they could totally fix it up some more. I really wish they hope, I really hope they make the green attire in black and then half black, half green. That's my favorite attire from Samoa Joe. Um, but nice face, you know, nice sculpting. I really like this part. You can see like the all the molds molding on the back if my camera would focus see you can see the molding it's really nice it's another nice texture to it uh i think this is a new torso i believe or it might just be a dusty Rhodes. i'm not 100 percent sure a little messed up on the wrist tape right there that's all right okay now this is the problem i have with my figure it's not just yours it's just mine um when i bought it the hand is super duper loose like i mean i'm telling you guys literally it's impossible to play with. and then also really a big plaint, plaint, paint splodge just like right there, just right onto my figure. I mean, it annoys me, but if I peel it off, I mean, it's just going to totally ruin it. So that's why if I see a new Samojo, maybe at like Toys R Us, I'm probably just going to switch it out and probably just return this one. But uh, anyways, these are new pants. Now, just like Kevin owns, if you guys have not seen the last thing, Toy Time, or not last, on my what I got for my birthday, uh, go check that out, oh, by the way. Link is down below. But these are new pants, and they're starting to make a lot of new pants for people. And this is one of them. It's not the Kevin Owens ones. But anyways, so we have a really nice, awesome, kind of like his baggy shorts, of course. Really nice detail. I really like this sculpting right there, if you guys can see it. Amazing half. It's pretty much just a complete copy of, like, the Brock Lesnar. I have it with me. Um, I'm going to try to... Oh, there it is. I found it right now. Look at this. Really? Really, Smojo? Really, dude? Really? You, you just had to, like, put the black on the other side. Okay, you see, now he feels bad, all right? Anyways, I'm sorry. I'm just joking around over here. But seriously, though, that's kind of sad and weird. Anyways, but I really like the new sculpting on this. I This is one of my favorite parts. I really like how it looks like there's actually his foot or, like, his thigh right there. I really like that. Amazing skin tone right there. That's sick. And, yeah, so half black, half red, amazing detail. Now, a thing I have a problem with the Kevin Owens, they cut it, they cut, like, the pants so you could, like, um, move his double-jointed leg all the way. This one, this is as far as you can go because this inhibits the whole, like, thing, and it sucks. I really wish they'd also cut it or just reused Kevin Owens' pants. That would have just been me, but whatever. Anyways, I really love these knee pads, by the way. I love the whole little circle cut into them. Really nice. I just love it. Amazing. And then these are the regular old boots that you get for, like, CM Punk or, like, all them. Yeah, so this is an amazing figure. If you guys see this, uh, I recommend picking it up. I don't know if this is a rare figure to find. If, you, if it is, tell me down below, guys. But anyways, again, please tell me down below if you guys want to see action figure matches. And, yeah, and then I'll do it. And then you guys can leave down below what kind of action figure match you can go like, oh, I want Smojo versus Brock Lesnar. Then, or for like the WWE Champion, and I'll do it. We'll call it Daniel Wrestling. It's going to be so fun, guys. If you guys want to see it, tell me down below. Remember to also go check out Bionic Tiger. What an amazing friend he is. And man, I just, ah, I just, I really want to see him be successful on YouTube. That, and that would mean the world for you guys to go subscribe to him. Anyways, let's get on with the next figure. And guys, up next, the next figure. Now, this is my first ever having this kind of basic action figure. Boom! We have my first ever chase figure action figure. I got this yesterday from Toys R Us, guys. And wow, was I shocked to see this, dude. Oh my gosh. That's also where I found the Black Panther. Wow. Can't believe the arm came off, or the hand came off. Uh... So, yeah, guys, but, dude, this is so nice. I have never bought a Chase figure before, and I am so happy to say now that I have one. Absolutely awesome, guys. Now, we're going to review the box, which is a first-timer. Then I'm going to cut this, and then I'm going to review the action figure for you guys. All right, first up, what is up with Seth's face on this? Like, serious, he's like... Guys, uh, what's up? Like, it's it's really weird. I don't know. Um, but you know, whatever. We have Seth Rollins on the side. Bonus World Heavyweight Championship title. Nice sticker. The belt is not actually a real belt in WWE, of course. 
but it's really cool. I really like it. There's Seth's face. My first ever having this head scan. I love it. Heard there's also new knee joints, which is going to be sick. Uh, damage. Yeah, the packaging's damaged. I'm going to keep this box, though, because it's one of the ones that... Uh, my first ever Chase figure. Not that I found. Oops, fail. Um, not that I found, but just the one that I really wanted. I've been wanting this for so long with a belt. So, my first ever. We have John Cena from Raw, Randy Orton from Raw, which I really wanted that Randy, because that's the Randy from WrestleMania 31, I think, when he actually fought Seth Rollins. And this is the one with the champion. But I really want that Randy, but... I don't want to waste my 10 bucks on it. We have Brock Lesnar, Seth Rollins, which we have right now. Have that Kalisto. If you want to check out that video, link is down below to that Toys R Us toy hunt. We have Renee Young, which they had a ton of Renee Youngs, but I don't really like that figure. The head scan is what bothers me. That Kofi Kingston, again, head scan bothers me. Then we have Luke Harper, which I don't think anyone's ever going to buy. So, yeah, guys, but I'm going to open this up, and uh, I'll definitely show you guys everything. Right, guys, so this figure is absolutely amazing. I I think everyone loves this head scan. Let's be honest. <laughs> I love it. Little slow dot of paint. Don't care too much though, as long as nothing's broken. So I know you guys are like, well, just show us the belt. I know this belt is so nice, guys. I really like it. It's very, it's very unique. It's a gold like uh kind of strap with nice touch of red. For the new logo, right there, and on the other side, then we have nice, the only actual different color is like this new logo, and then some silver on it, and some black background. Other than that, nothing really too special about it, but this is the attire when he fought Randy Orton in the red uh, trunks, and also when he won the WWE Champion, but of course not this one. Now, if you guys are wondering, I've been collecting for about two years, and I've been watching wrestling for two years. And, as you know, or may not know, I have the Seth Cash's in Toys R Us exclusive. This is the original belt. Like, this is the actual WWE Champion, not played it. Now, that's the problem. But, thank gosh that we are getting a new plated championship. Uh, I cannot wait. If you guys don't know what the plated championships are, just like this right now, as I have here, this Intercontinental Champion. Hear that? This, like, the new ones... They're not played. They're just, like, kind of sculpted and painted on, which sucks. But now we're getting them in Elite 45 Roman Reigns and the best attire ever for Seth Rollins, the white um, SummerSlam attire when he won both championships. This is the Seth Cashes in uh, Toys Us exclusive. Same exact uh, attire, just different knee pads. Also, the knee joints are really nice on that. They're much smoother than a lot of basics. And then here we have little touches yellow, you know, because now he doesn't really have any at all. And on this, we have a little more, just a little more, but amazing expression, dude. I love it. Oh, your average Seth Rollins, to be honest. Uh, it's nothing really special. The only thing that's special uh, is the face scan. This is like the first ever face scan of this, but now we're going to get a heck ton of re-releases of it. The knee joints, which is uh, pretty cool. I really love the knee joints. It's kind of hard to explain, but if you buy this figure, which I recommend 100%, this has amazing knee joints, and that's pretty cool. I really like that. And this is the back with his Samurai Code uh, tattoo. Then, something awesome that I just like realized, this is the back of the head or hair of the Seth Rollins in 2015. I also have the Elite Series 37. Uh, same thing. As you can see, much more yellow. So, like, we kind of have an evolution over here. We have lots of yellow. Just a tad bit, and then just another tad bit. But see, this mold was the first mold on the set. This is, like, one of the newer head skins from um, 2015. Uh, this is a Seth Cash is in, of course. And then this is the now 2016 set. Now we have, like, three strips of hair coming down. This one we have, like, again, three, but just much different. I really like that. Uh, if anything, I definitely recommend this head scan, alright? 100%. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to do a head swap. I actually really like it like this. Maybe a head swap on the Seth Cash is in or on my Elite Series 37 because I play with this one. I put this on display, which, guys, I will soon do, I will soon do a room tour. So it's going to be awesome. But this Seth figure is great. I mean, if you want a Seth, I would recommend this one. Then just wait for the Elite. Um, but 
Other than that, guys, this is the figure, and it's really nice, especially this belt. I absolutely love this belt. I cannot wait to play with this belt. Um, if this belt was in WWE, it'd be much better than the Universal Championship, let's be honest, guys. But anyways, uh, this is going to do it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching this Danny Toy Time. Um, if you guys like this video, hit up that like button, uh, and remember to subscribe to join the family. We are 1,000 strong, guys. I still have not thought about what we're going to do for 1,000 subscribers. We will do something, all right, guys? Do not be worried. I will soon do a, um, toy room tour, where I'm going to show you guys, um, some cool stuff that I have in my toy room. So, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching, and remember to subscribe to join the family, and... Definitely follow me on Instagram, guys, because you can see the pictures of what happened to my Black Panther. Good news is for that Black Panther is that tomorrow um, I'm going to go again. And I'm going to, and the guy told me they're going to bring more of him. So I'm going to definitely go buy him. If I see two Deadpools, I might pick up one. Uh, thanks, the other Deadpool. Probably get it for a friend or something. Other than that, thanks for watching, guys. And peace out, guys.